flowchart proofs are just another format for us to write a proof in. We looked at a two column proof and now let's look at a flowchart. A flowchart proof look, looks like what it sounds like. Um, we use boxes and arrows to show the flow of a logical argument. And instead of having statements on one side and reasons on the other, as our two column was, we have a reason below each statement, okay? So what we're gonna do today is look at a two column proof and we are gonna convert it into a flowchart proof. So this is one way that we can use flowchart proofs, um, but we could also just look at a diagram, look at some given information and what they want us to prove and just go ahead and write a two column, or excuse me, a flowchart proof. Um, but we're gonna look at how to compare two column to flowchart today. So here's our example. We have given information. Notice there's two pieces of information that's given to us. It says angle one and angle two are supplementary. Angle three and angle two are supplementary. And they want us to prove that angle one is congruent to angle three. So we look at our two column proof. It's set up for us. So we have, notice when you have two given statements, you can write that just as the first statement, right? Write both of those and the reason is, is given. Um, and then our second statement, we have what is the definition of supplementary angles? Well, they, they add to 180 degrees. So one plus two is 180 and angle three plus angle two is 180. And that's the definition of supplementary angles. So now if one plus two equals 180 and three plus two equals 180, then we can apply the transitive property of equality and say that the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to measure of angle three plus the measure of angle two. And so now what we do is we have the measure of angle two on both sides, right? So if we just subtracted the measure of angle two from both sides, then we're left with the measure of angle one equals the measure of angle three, and that's the subtraction property of equality. And so finally, if two angles have the same measure, then that's the definition of congruent angles. They are congruent to one another. All right, so we're gonna take our two column proof here, and we're gonna use a flow chart proof. So here's our flow chart proof set up with some boxes. We're gonna add in our statements and our reasons, and we're gonna draw in the arrows as well. Now, the shape of the flow chart proof, the direction it flows, whether it's horizontal or vertical, it really doesn't matter. There's a lot of different ways that you could write a flowchart proof. And so we're just gonna look at one way today. Okay, so our first two boxes over here, this is gonna be our given information. So for both of these, we're gonna write our given information. So back at the, up at the top, we had angle one and angle two are supplementary. So angle one, and angle two are supplementary. And we had angle three and angle two are supplementary. Okay, so now we have our, going to our second statement, measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two. So here's our arrow. We're gonna go from our given statement to our next box. We're gonna say the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two equals 180 degrees. Notice how we used the measure of angle one and angle two because that's what we said in the first box, one and two were supplementary. So now for this box down here, we're gonna draw our arrow there. And we're gonna say the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle two is equal to 180. And our reason below that is just our definition of supplementary angles. So we write that below it, definition of supplementary angles. And we write the same reason below this box. Definition of supplementary angles, okay? All right, now our third statement. Notice how from on statements three, four, and five, we only have one statement listed. And so now what we're gonna do, our arrow is gonna go from our, our second box on the top row to the third box. But now also we're gonna draw an arrow from our measure of angle three plus measure of angle two equals 180 also to this same box because we are using those two statements to build our third statement. So we will say the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two is equal to the measure of angle three plus the measure of angle two. And our reason for that is transitive property of equality. Transitive property of equality, okay? And so now we're gonna draw our arrow down like that. And it's gonna lead us to our fourth statement, which is just the measure of angle one is now equal to the measure of angle three. And that was our subtraction property of equality. So 
subtraction property of quality. All right, and we'll draw our arrow to the last box and we can say angle one is congruent to angle three. And our reason for that would be the definition of congruent angles. And that's a flowchart proof.